All right, guys. Here's something else that uh, I've been doing for the past few years, and that's actually using my 500-pound mono as weed eater line. Now, mind you, I, this is what it looks like after I've already weed eaten it. The side of the house, the front, all the gardens that are there and stuff like that. And I'll give you an idea of what I've weed eaten it with just these two strings right here. So y'all can check it out. It might be something to look into. I mean, if y'all haven't tried it, I would suggest it. And here we go. figured I'd give y'all a little heads up of what I've already done and they look like that. So I we did it. Oh, let's start from the very big gap. Alright, so along this fence from way over there down this way, this floor, all the way on all three edges. You got one, two, and then three, as you can tell. And I mean, man, look at those lines. They look really good. So, and mind you, I also come back along this wall right here and I cut it level this way because it's just too skinny to put the lawnmower there. So I cut it this way and then I cut it this way. So. And yes, I come along the fence and I weed eat right there in the fence. Dog done messed that up. But all all through here, around the pipes, around the front, and again, this side portion right here, I cut this way, and then I cut right there, around my drain, around the pipes, fence, and all these gardens there are all cut with those two pieces of string all the way around, and then even the outer edge over there, we have weeded it as well. And I don't know, but if y'all have had the same luck with some similar weed eater line, it'd be nice to know. But yeah, this line there, that line there, this line's here, there, over there, around the edge over there. So, I don't know. Might be pretty cool to use your fishing line for that if you got a surplus of it. So, just a little suggestion you might want to try out. I gotta come back and pick up all my mess. Another beautiful day. Oh, better than being rained on. All right, just to give you an idea of what I started with, as you can tell, the ends are melted because a long time ago, a buddy of mine suggested using wire because I kept telling him I kept breaking off too much. So I put some wire in there. Well, it messed up the teeth on the inside so the mono slips in and slips out. And uh, I've tried using heavier mono and it actually breaks off quicker. But what I normally do is I send it in about this far and then I melt it down and then it sucks back up. So I've lost probably three to four inches of line on both sides, you know, and that's pretty good for all that weeding. So I'd highly look into, you know, we're using the 500 pound test that we sell at the shop and it works pretty good. I mean, at a 300 foot. I started in on it a long time ago, and I've got still a crap load left. And literally every weekend, I normally just go ahead and pull it out, put a new one in, but maybe I should try to see how many weekends I get. But also too, since it's a short curved weed eater, I'm kind of tall. It's kind of short to get that way, so I try to go with a really long piece, so that way I don't have to be crouching over as far and stuff like that. A little easier on the back. But, uh, Yep, so we only need a little more than 120 subscribers, so it's getting close, man, it's getting real close, I'm real excited. So I want to, we're still not going to order it until the final drawing gets done. And what I'm going to end up doing, again, is I'm going to put everybody's name into an Excel program with a numbered system, and then I'm going to go on the computer and record the whole deal and let the computer nominate the number, and that's the way it'll go. And what I'll do is uh, I'll post a list of everybody's name so you know what number you are. And then I'll do the drawing on the next one. So 
that way we know exactly where we're at and so forth. So have a good one, guys.